Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a font on Windows 7. Um, I've got a couple emails about this, so I just thought that I would make a really quick video. It is super simple to do, um, so just follow along and you can be a font hoarder like me. So first, to install a font, you're going to need a font. Um, my favorite font website is www.dafont.com. So I'm just there now, and I'm just going to grab any old font. Um, I'm just going to click the download button. It's going to open up this window. It's going to be a zip file. You're going to want to save file. Click OK. <clears throat> and then you're going to want to, if you're in Firefox, this downloads manager window will pop up. You can just simply right click the file, open containing folder. This is going to open up your um, the location where it's saved. So here's the file. All you have to do is right click, extract. It's going to take all those files out. Um, and now you're going to see that it has three true type fonts. Sometimes you'll only get one, sometimes you'll get three, sometimes you'll get two, sometimes you'll get more. So if you have three like this, you can simply click on one of them, hold shift, oops, hold shift, and click the, the top one and then I'll select them all. Um, people do this differently. You can drag it, you can cut it or copy it. I'm just going to do this really simply. With those selected, right click, copy. Now you're going to navigate over to your local C drive. Then you're going to go to Windows, find your fonts folder. It will always look like this. Fonts. Now all you have to do is paste those fonts in. You can either do this by clicking Control V or you can just right click and paste. When you do this, it's going to say installing and you're done pretty much. So now if you want to just uh, make sure that worked, you can find the name of the font and it's right here. There's this one and there's a the second one. I don't know where the third one went, but anyways. Um, yeah, so oh, there we go. And there's your font. It's installed. And now you can use that on any program you want and you can have a ball. <laughs> um, just make sure whenever you're downloading fonts from font websites that you adhere to their usage terms. So it'll say beside the font, um, free for personal use, free for personal use. So just make sure that you're abiding by those rules and you'll be good. So have fun with your fonts and I will see you later.